I thought I need to make sure I've got the right commander on it. Okay, we're going to do this and then we're going to call it a night. Like that. that training room. Why would you play... Why would you play Kurfürst versus Vincent? He. <laughs> oh man, Golan's doing Montana versus Vincent. Oh shit. Okay. Crap. Fuck. Okay. What is what is he doing here? But it's gotta be Oldendorf. It's gotta be Oldendorf. Fuck. Okay. Let's see if I can do this, boys. Let's see, boys and gals. Shit. Okay. I gotta, I gotta... Get ready to rumble. Yeah. Get him. Do it. Precise aim activated. Undershot on that one. And of course, he immediately goes right for the gun. Control. I mean, why wouldn't you? Step already. I screwed up big time already. Uh. This is why you don't do this, people. No. No. There's shot. there's a little bit. Perfect. Nice Back shot. Camera, I'm trying to see if I can take one of those turrets off of him. Enemy team captured the area. Target hit. Bad shots on them. This. Engine boost activated. I wait for the sustain. Precise aim activated. That you heard. We hit the enemy. See, one v ones is a whole different uh, part. Yeah, I don't think that bow is actually going to be doing too much for me right now. I'm actually feeling almost like I need to go hyper aggressive. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that would just give him more. You don't have to. You don't have to. Yep. Nice shots, nice shots. So this, is, this is what an actual BB made. Golden's an actual BB main, and he. Oh, that's that one. Oh crap, I wasn't turning in on that one. That's okay, it's okay, just, just bow in at this point. Hold in, I'm holding. This is all down to the who's the better shot. He got, got me. Damn, that was. I held up, but oh god, damn, that was good. That was good, Golden. I was not expecting Montana though. What what, what would you what would uh, Golden? Could you impart some knowledge? Like how like what was I doing wrong? I think that that is actually a really good way to actually learn how to do one v ones and everything like that. Like that what what did I like what could I have done better as a you know from your perspective let's see if uh, you respond because that that's one thing that a lot of people don't realize is one people ones can teach you a lot of things a lot of wasted time turning to get all your guns off that is true yeah that is true I was looking for volley fire yeah and mine you are literally quiet as I'll get out and I'm at, I have like I can barely hear you not pushing from the beginning to use torpedoes. That I thought about that being super aggressive. Damn it. I wondered well, about that. I was like, do I do I be super aggressive? In, which uh, the moment you turn in you make 
You make your shells line on your deck, which is nice of you. Yeah, the problem is, though, with the St. Vincent, is I've had this where I've actually showed the smart, you know, turn in and absolutely show the smallest kind of broad, like, you know, no yeah, broadside, like and then they just rip my entire ship apart. Because they go right for deck armor. So this is the thing. You, you okay, will anticipate you... they will aim for the deck, so you turn out, like, slightly, so the shells will land on the belt and say you receive minimal damage. I can still barely hear you, man. So. Bruh. Yeah. Well, that was, that was, uh, let me, let me, let me, let's, let's, let's pick a, let's see, what, what would be a ship that I might be better at? One second, let me, let me, I need to make sure that I'm, Vermont would just get beaten way, way too easily. Mm, I know Schleif and Grosser Curve first are just kind of cheap on 1v1s, so. though. And then, go aggressive. Wait, what? Kremlin and go aggressive. Yeah, he's Kremlin and go aggressive? Mm -hmm. I just don't have a full level 11 Makarov yet. Let's just try it, let's just try it, let's try it. If I, let's see if I can, yeah, I can, I can do pretty well on this one. Oh, Kremlin versus Kremlin. Okay, yeah, okay. This will be the last one, though. This will be the last one, though. <laughs> mm. You have to add gold in that one. All right, let's see if I can do this. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that the cap-off start was uphill from then. Okay. It's a whole different game, though. I, I, I do have to say is that, that, is, that is a big issue. Battle starts. With that. Because sometimes it's, it's all about just taking your time, and then other activated. times it's... How do I sound now? Much better. Much better. Okay. I can actually hear you. Okay, I've got a different mic. Target locked. Oh yeah, the, the Kremlin, you can just farm it. Just, just it Target hit. Why farm its bow when you can actually hit some structure in the hole? As you can see, even, even he didn't even aim for my bow. I mean, if you want to guarantee them, the situation is under play. control. We're hit. No, but if, with this, you can just fire right around there and hopefully the strip the guns like that. The bow is a great area if you don't know how to take on the Kremlin. We're hit. We hit the enemy. And I've dealt with a lot of Kremlin, but I enjoy it. I enjoy this ship. Precise aim activated. Nice shot! Captured the area. Did you take a drone and rush? Oh, <laughs> took a jump route right there. Oh man, yeah, no, like the Kremlin, the bow is a great area to hit. It is, um, but actually aiming right behind the guns and on the deck armor, it's basically guaranteed full pens, especially with the superstructure of the of the Kremlin and such. But you have to know the Kremlin, and I, I, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yep. <laughs> I actually, I don't, you don't want to go full speed ahead because the, the turret traverse, like both of us slowed down around five kilometers because it was just like, what do you, what do you mean? it's Kremlin not. Has like, Kremlin has like the best turret traverse of like most of Yeah, the but you're still going to have 6% bite you in the ass eventually. Like it's still going to do that, but. Pre-aim then. Mime, if you're going full speed at that close of range, you're barely going to be able to pre-aim. I think you're getting a little too Pre hypothetical. Oh my god, you're a dick. All right, so no, the Kremlin, uh, and I actually I think Golden, I think you were the one who taught me this, is that it's actually you want to be aiming kind of just behind the bow, especially if you can hit the deck armor. But of course, if you're at range, that bow is just a juicy target. You just hit the right there. But yeah, um, okay, it was quick. We'll do one more. One more, and then I have to jump. One more, and then I really have to jump. So, Lou, we'll FDR Kremlin. versus Kremlin. <laughs> nah. Okay. Okay, let's do it one more. One more. Maybe we should do a 1v1 tournament again. Pretty quick, though. General quarters. Mm. 
Very quick. Precise aim activated. Didn't hit well on that second try. Too high. Yeah, I'm still hit. Ooh, la, la. Damn. Good job. Cool. He's gonna go right for that juicy bow, yep. Guy's desperate. Uh no, that actually makes sense with that amount of guns he has. I'm trying to strip his guns, which isn't really the situation helping. is under control. It's not. Yep, he's going that juicy, juicy bow. Our team captured the enemy. Target hit. Oh, I tell you, he can kill. Oh, oh. Yeah. enemy ship destroyed. Yep. Oh. God, I love the Kremlin, and thank you. I think it was, it was either part or gold, and both of you guys told me to go Makarov on this. Makarov, just oh, so good. That's right. Oh yeah, Makarov on that. Yeah, right. No, that was good. That was good. Um, uh, so, uh, my thought, Golden, go for the juicy stern. Should have gone. You should have kept on pushing. Gone right for my ass. No, eat, eat that bow stern. It's fine because uh, they have the extra armor, like both of them. True, and it, that that entire game would have been completely different. GG's there, Golden there. Uh, that would have been completely different if I had the. Uh, this mod on there. If I had the 15%, then the armor piercing from most likely for that uh, golden has would not have worked so well in that case for what it is. And that's why you go more for that superstructure hit on there. Because then you're going more, even the superstructure plus 15%, the deck armor plus is not going to do much to it. So um, you want to go more for that, but the bow armor. Well, it only increases bow armor, so you can still pump the stun. Yeah, that's the thing is you you I was okay. I feel like I was was I was I explaining myself well enough or was I failing on something? Which I could have been. But um, GG's golden. Yeah, that was that was fun. We should do that. Even then we do. the armor's I don't think the armor's actually enough to numb pen BB shells at that range. Well the the thing is is a lot of people go for the bow. You know, like that. And that's easy. But also, if you go right for... I don't know, can, you, can people actually see my cursor when I'm doing this? Yeah. If you go on the Kremlin, if you go right around that second turret, you can potentially strip a turret and hit full pens on the deck and the um, superstructure. Um, and that's why I go for that. And I think I want to say I learned that from part or from you, Golden. I, I could be completely wrong. But whoever was killing it in the Kremlin a while back, which I learned from you. <laughs> I learned. But yeah, that juicy stern... That's a that's a juicy butt, but yeah, that was fun. That was fun.